Thank you very much. I'm really very excited to be here to honor three very special, great songwriters, producers who made a big difference in the musical movement, which we called our Motown sound. Um, it doesn't seem like so long ago. It seems like just yesterday to me. But if you bring up the, the 60s, right away the images come up for me and I remember leaving high school, getting on a bus down West Grand Boulevard and going up to Hitsville, USA, because that's where the action was. That's where Smokey was, that's where the Miracles, Martha Rees and the Vandellas, the Four Tops, the Marvelettes, Marv Johnson at that time, and Barrett Strong, everybody was there and that's where we wanted to be. We wanted to be at Motown. And um, those are some of my memories. I have many wonderful and fond memories. At that time, the 60s, everything seemed possible. We thought that we could change the world through our music. And our music did not start with rebellion and hatred or anger. It really was coming out of love and a togetherness and working hard and working together and believing in ourselves. And I think that was the spirit of Motown, our family atmosphere, which I I really think is what made the unit so special, working with Marvin Gaye, singing background with uh, any group that was making a record at that time. And, um, you know, we laughed together, we cried together, we grew up together, and a lot of us traveled different roads. And as I've traveled all over the world, I realize that uh, even in places where I think that our music has not gotten to, I just was recently in East Berlin and over at the Wall, and people know the music over there, and it's very exciting for me to know that our music has traveled all over the world. They cherish Motown, they cherish Holland Dozier Holland and all the songs that were written in the 60s and their music and the productions that they did, and um, so do I. So I'd like to, for a special and a very personal thanks to Brian Holland, Eddie Holland, Lamont Dozier. I remember coming to the studio and watching you play, and, and Brian was always the one that seemed to be at the piano all the time, and uh, Lamont seemed to be getting the backgrounds and all the melodic sounds together, and Eddie was writing the lyrics. And not just for the Supremes, but for all of us at Motown. And I really want to personally thank them, and I love them, and I'm happy that I could be here to uh, induct them into the Hall of Fame. Mm -hmm.